How's it going out there, people? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a solo money glitch video. Guys, if you thought the last money glitch that I posted last night was easy, you're not going to believe what we're able to do now. You can do that same glitch completely solo. You do not need a friend to help you out. Uh, a few differences, though, not many. Uh, basically, you want to make sure that you have an empty space. I was doing that in the last video, but on this one, you want to make sure you have an empty space. It doesn't work properly when you have to, you know, overwrite other cars. So what I'm doing right here, I'm actually going ahead and I'm putting street cars in my garage and then blowing them up so that I can, you know, bring some empty spaces. Because if you blow up a regular car, those all have insurance on them. You know, any car that you buy, LGs, you know, X80s in my case right here. They all have insurance, so they don't actually leave the garage. So you need to overwrite them with street cars and then go ahead and pull them outside and blow them up. And just for this video, I opened up two empty spaces in this garage. This is Integrity Way, and uh, this is the garage we're going to be using to buy any car for free. All right, so it's a really cool glitch, and I'm going to show you guys right here. So if you look at the top right, I need $3,750,000, okay, in the bank. All right, a little bit more than that, I would say and you need zero dollars, or sorry, in cash. You need zero dollars in the bank, you need the amount of money plus a little bit more in cash for the item you're trying to purchase. So what I'm doing right here is I'm going ahead and withdrawing all the money from my bank and putting it into my hand, okay? Into cash, in my pocket, however you wanna look at it. So check it out, I have zero dollars now in the bank and then I have $25 over the amount that I need to purchase a vigilante. We're going to be purchasing two vigilantes in this tutorial, all right? So that's what we need. And I actually ended up getting a little bit more robbing a store real quick because I, I ended up dying and stuff. So this is what happens. If you're over, you know, a little bit more, you see I have $1,146 over what, you know, the cost of the vigilante is. So what I'm going to do right here is go ahead and buy some ammo. So right here, you know, $60 each, you know, for 24 rounds of the pistol. I'm going to go ahead and just buy it slowly. And you see the money in my cash going down, all right? It's going down. I'm just going to keep buying until I get pretty close to 3750000 which is what I need to buy the Vigilante. So I'm going to go ahead, keep buying, keep buying. And then right there, you see I'm $66 over what I need for the Vigilante. Vigilante is $3,750,000. I'm 66 bucks over that. All right, I did that. I did this on purpose because I wanted to show you guys. You can see the price right there. So I want it to be 66 bucks over because I wanted to show you guys what can happen if you're a little bit too over. All right. So at this point, what you want to do is go ahead and call yourself a cab. And I'd recommend doing this in an invite-only session, maybe a solo session if you have properties and you don't want you know utility charges to be charged and then you lose a bunch of money. You know, a few hundred bucks, maybe a thousand, depending on what you own. Uh, but yeah, so you want to go ahead and call yourself a cab and set a waypoint for like, I don't know, I'd say two blocks away or so, you know, yeah, a little bit more maybe. It's up to you depending on how much money you have in your bank. But uh, I'm going to set it to about up to there. It's right by the tennis court, so I kind of know where it is. Now go ahead and hop into the cab. Now when you hop into the cab, you want to tell him, you know, right there at the bottom to go ahead and go to your waypoint. You can move left or right with your stick. All right, so go ahead and set it to the waypoint, and then on Xbox, you hit X to hurry, and on PlayStation, that's square. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and open up the internet and press buy on the car you want. In our case, it's the Vigilante, and now I'm hovering over Integrity Way, the garage where I have two open spots, all right? You need open spots to do this glitch properly. Zero dollars in the bank and a little bit more money in cash than the product that you're trying to get, all right? So here we go. So now I'm just waiting. I'm just hovering right now. I recommend doing it maybe out in the desert so you don't have to wait for street lights. I fast forwarded these little parts for you uh, where you know I was waiting at a street light, but check it out. So at this point, we're gonna start moving forward. Now he's gonna stop really soon. Now he needs to take 66, $67 basically away from me for it to work and check it out. He only took 27 bucks away. I'm still over the amount for the car. I didn't accept the purchase there because it would have completely purchased, you know, it would have taken all my money out, all right, and actually purchased the car normally. So that's why I didn't accept that. All right, so now I wanted to show you guys, and trust me, if you do accept that, it happened to me, if you accept that, then you will get all the money taken out. Go ahead and close your game right away so that the purchase doesn't go all the way through. But now I want to go ahead 
and make my money just a bit closer to the price of the car. So I'm just going to keep buying, you know, a few things here at the drugstore. And there we go. I think that's good right there. I'm $15 over. The cab fare you want to be, so say you see I'm $15 over the price of the Vigilante. I need my cab fare to be over $15 for this to work. So make sure it's kind of close to the price of the car that you're trying to purchase. All right. So in this case, I'm $15 over. I'm ready to go. I know it's going to work this time. I went ahead and I called myself a cab and I'm going to go ahead and set myself a waypoint. All right. Uh, you can set yourself a waypoint, like I said, about one or two blocks away. I recommend two to three blocks uh, just to be sure that they're going to take away more money, you know, the enough money. So here we go. I'm going to hop into the cab just like I did last time. And this time, go ahead and hit A on the waypoint, you know, and then hit X to go ahead and hurry up. Square on PlayStation. And then so he's hurrying. So now I'm going to open up my phone, go to the Internet, go over to Warstock, and I'm going to buy the Vigilante. All right. Hit buy it now and then hover over the garage. OK, so there we go. I'm hovering over Integrity Way. See, I have zero dollars in the bank, 15 dollars over the price of the Vigilante. I know for sure that this is going to work. The cab fare needs to be at least $16, okay, for me in this case, all right? So you want less money than the Vigilante once the once the cab fare gets charged, okay? You want to be under that amount of money for the vehicle you're trying to purchase. So check it out. We're going to stop pretty soon over here, and he's going to charge me over $15, which is what we want for the cab fare. And right at that moment, when you get the money subtracted, you're going to accept the purchase and get it delivered to the garage. So here we go. He's going to go ahead and stop real soon here. Once he stops, go ahead, boom, I buy it right there. You see, he charged me $31. That's perfect. He only needed to charge me $16, but he charged me $31. And then look at that. I accepted the purchase right when that money was subtracted for the cab fare, and all my money is still there. The only thing that was subtracted was the cab fare. But I was able to buy the Vigilante completely for free right there, and you saw on the bottom left, it said it was, it was gonna be delivered shortly. And I'm gonna show you Integrity Way. You see, those are the cars I have there and the bike. I have eight vehicles in there, so I have two empty spaces, so one of those is gonna go there. So I fast forwarded here, I was just gonna wait, you know, till it got delivered, but then I was like, wait a minute, I can do this again real quick and I'm gonna show you how. So I'm a little under, what is that? I am $16 under what I need to be, so I'm just gonna beat this guy up real quick and take his money. So look at that, I got 26 more dollars, I'm $10 over the price of the Vigilante again. I'm set to do the glitch, just like that. You just wanna be a little bit over in cash and zero dollars in the bank. All right, that's how you want to set this up. So while you're waiting for the vehicle to be delivered, if you already have all the empty spaces in your garage set up, you can just beat up a few people and get the money that you need. You know, the money that the that the cab fare, you know, costed you. So at this point, you, sh you can see right there at the bottom left, it was delivered. I'm going to show you guys right over here in the mechanics list that in integrity way, you're going to see one vigilante in there now. There we go. One vigilante successfully purchased without actually subtracting any money away from me so I'm ready to do the glitch again I've already beat up that guy I've gotten the money so I'm gonna go ahead and call up a cab and right here go ahead and call up the uh, downtown cab company and honestly this is the only time I've ever used the cab it's pretty cool that we get to use it for a solo money glitch but uh, yeah so once you call them now you go ahead and set yourself a waypoint on the map so I'm gonna set it right by this tennis court like I said a little ways away it's not really a block or two in that case it's just more just you know a little ways away where I know he's going to charge me more than $10 for that, you know, for that distance. So I'm going to select the waypoint inside and then hit X to hurry, open up my internet, and now I'm going to go ahead and hit on the Vigilante and press buy it now and hover over that garage. I have one more empty space in that garage. I have $10 over the price of the Vigilante in cash and I have zero in my bank. That is the exact setup that you want, just a little bit money over with the product that you want to purchase in hand okay and zero dollars in the bank that must be exact zero dollars in your bank you don't want anything else there all right so now he's just going to go ahead and drive me over he's going to be stopping very shortly and just like the last you know part of the video where i bought it for free right when he subtracts the money it has to be over ten dollars go ahead and accept the purchase right when the money is subtracted from your account you will notice it was right here by the tennis court so we should be coming up very very soon so he starts to slow down a bit he's pulling over he's gonna charge me boom accept so you see he charged me 33 dollars and then i am able to accept the purchase and none of the money is taken out the only money taken out is the cab fare which was 33 dollars and then 
once again, guys, if you wanted to do the glitch again while you're waiting, go ahead and, you know, pull. in this case, I'm right here on the highway, pull somebody out of the car and just beat them up. And then, you know, take their money until you have enough cash to be a little bit over the amount. You can be $1 over in cash if you want to. That's okay, too. It's probably better to do that, but I wanted to just show you guys that you do have a little bit of leeway, you know, depending on the distance in the cab and uh, how much money you're going to be charged, okay? And once again, if you are still over the amount and you press A to buy and then all of a sudden you actually do purchase it for the full amount and they subtract the money, quit your app immediately. I had to do that once. The purchase did not go through. I still had my money when I came back into the game, all right? But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys liked this awesome solo money glitch video. Do it while you still can, guys. And if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button by pressing the blue thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. And turn on them post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody.